Time for another U.S. off-road update. Let's get to it. El Paso, Texas with the pro quad. And right off the bat, Tim Farr battling for the championship once again. Having a great run throughout. And he comes away as the winner in pro quads competition. That gives him now a 23-point lead in the U.S. off-road championship standings. Also, the Thunderbikes in El Paso, great competition right off the bat. They diced throughout the night as the lead changed hands at least seven times throughout the competition. But when it came down to the final, and they got to the final lap on this huge course in El Paso, Texas, Chris Knox battling for the lead at the end. Coming across the finish line, though, Scott Myers got him on the final lap. Myers gets the victory. Knox, though, still has the lead by some 15 points over Chris Ridgway. Back in Indianapolis, we're going to have a grudge match. Richie Tompkins has challenged P.J. Pyros to a grudge match, and uh, Pyros has accepted. And this is going to settle it. This is going to determine who wins and gets the championship points today. That was the agreement. So this is key. One-on-one -on -one now. It's going to settle it between these two, too. And Pyros on the outside trying to hold it. He has the early lead over Richie Tompkins, who got spun out, taken off the course in the final heat by Pyros. But this crowd is on its feet here as Tompkins tries to negotiate back out in front. Hey, he's not gonna, he might try to take him out as well. White flag out. And, you know, it's just, it's as much body blocking right now and trying to get in front of your guy or move him or, or bang if you have to. And here they are, they've locked wheels. They have locked up. They have locked their bikes together. Tompkins was gonna have nothing of PJ trying to run into him. And, oh, he's up and off the quad. But Pyros can't get free either. This is crazy. They're, technically, the green is still out. They're ready to go. And there goes Pyros. He broke away first. And Tompkins was facing in the wrong direction. That's going to kill him. Oh, and now his bike stalled. Now his bike stalled. Oh, goodness. So PJ Pyros will come around and win, and it'll be very unpopular. Oh, I guarantee that. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at the hot dog. Oh, he's waving at him. Oh, Tompkins, I. He's, I bet he's ready to gnaw the handlebars off that thing right now. Pyros is just coasting. If you didn't catch it earlier, P.J. Pyros was a superstar for Orlando. Well, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Pyros is stalled. Been I thought he was hot dogging. Now he's stalled. Can you believe this? And Richie Tompkins has got his quad fired up. He's rolling. He's still a half lap behind him. Pyros is pushing his quad. Pyros is going to try and push his quad past the finish line. That's all it'll take. Tompkins still has almost a half lap to catch up. Here he comes, though. Can he make it over? He, not, he did not get to the checkers. No! Richie Tompkins has done it. The crowd is on its feet going nuts here at the RCA Dome. They love the comeback. Richie Tompkins never gave up. He never quit, even when his quad stalled. He got it started, came back, and he's got the checkers in his hands. What an emotional moment here in the RCA Dome. Unbelievable finish. He literally flew over the top. Let's go down to Steve Burns for all the emotion. Richie, you got revenge. What a battle. Yeah, it was a battle. The fans stay behind me the whole way. Look out, look out. Oh, pal, I'll get you next time. Look at this. Thank you, Indy. Very popular win here, the homestanding Indy team of victors. Now it's time for the Monster Truck Finals. We are ready. Grave Digger going up against Gunslinger. It is not going to be easy for either truck.